Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for the whole collection for Japan. I'm pretty excited about this update because I have some really nice progress to show you guys and one empty and I'm really excited that I can roll in a new product. Last update we rebooted this project if we wanted to at least where we could take uh, some items out of the project and replace them with something new if we want to change it up if we were in a rut with the products or if we couldn't finish them or something like that and I switched out six items and I have now finished one of the four items I had in before I rebooted the project. Sarah and Emily started this project this year as a collab between me and a lot of ladies here on YouTube and Instagram and it is originally created by Becky Loves Kanga and then I got inspired from Alexi and then I basically did it myself last year and then this year as a collab. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I was a little bit confused when I told that myself but let me show you the empty and the progress and then we can choose a new item to roll into the project. If you saw my last update it is no surprise what product it is that I have empty for this update and it is obviously my foundation. This is the Women London Lasting Finish 25 hour nude foundation and as you can see I have scraped it all out. I can't reach this point right here because of the neck. Uh, my spatula can't reach that point. It doesn't really matter because it is so thin it, there will only be to cover my chin or forehead or something like that so it doesn't really matter at all these are my progress lines if you can see them anyway started up here one update is one update here and then last time i was down to here so i had like one or two uses left in this bottle and then it was done so this is my benefit workature deluxe size blush the writing or the imprint is wearing more and more off it is almost gone. Last update you could see most of the rock imprint. Now you can see just a little bit of the R. I think that is pretty exciting. As I said last update it is not really pigmented at all so I am mixing it with other shades to make it work for me. I like it. I really do but it is getting older. I can totally tell. So I have a feeling that I might uh, franken some of this one with this Curlista shade because I mix them anyway every single day. So I might mix that and that means it might look very different next time but hopefully I can finish the franken bit by next update so I will have the prog proper progress and not being confused and everything like that. So that is the blush. Yeah, let's just take the two products that I'm going to measure that I also had in before the reboot. The first product is my MAC lipstick in Brave and it is like a cooler nude pink color. It's not a lot left in it but apparently I'm really bad at making progress on this lipstick because the, I don't know why. This line is... don't focus on my ring please. So this line where I am now, there is two months of progress. I have no idea why there isn't more because I use it quite a bit. So apparently I have been good at wearing the tip down for this update. <laughs> then we have my W7 Brow Sweep Grooming Crayon. This one right here. And that is all I have left. I have not been focusing on this product at all all for the last month so that isn't that much progress if there is even some i don't know no progress but i have been using it a few times i've been using it here so it is more slanted right here than from the top down so i'm really trying to finish off an eyebrow uh, pencil crayon no micro brow pencil from W7 as well. There's so little left, so hopefully I have uh, some progress for next time for this product. I'm just going. I kept it in because I knew I can finish it this uh, year. I really wanted to finish that brow pencil 
really soon because there's so little left. There's like one or two weeks left in it. So, so no progress on the brow sweep either but that is where I am and the progress overall. Then we have the products that I added in last time and I have been really good at wearing those items I think. After the video and after I have ended it I realized that I had three lip products in this project and I actually wanted to have a goal to only have two in so I don't know where my brain went. The first one is my W7 Metal Kiss lip gloss in Ace Face. It is this rose gold coppery shade and you will have seen this in some videos because I have used it three times. I have applied it when I got home from work so that counts as one time. Um, I haven't worn it to work yet because it's very metallic. I remembered it differently when I rolled it in. Um, but I really do like it. I have just been panning a lot of uh, pink looks this month and this is more of an orangey coppery shade and that doesn't really go well with the pink so I've been wearing more of the MAC lipstick and stuff like that. This has been on a back burner for a little bit but I have used it three times and my goal for the next items overall is 20 times each. The next one is the one that I have on right now. It is my red liquid lipstick from W7 as well. This, this one is called Velvet Secret in Vinotino. Yeah, Vinotino. So it is a bright red lipstick and I really really like it. It is really beautiful, I think. Um, and I have used it two times. <laughs> and the two times has been in the last week. So I think that is pretty good. But there is a long way to go for 20 times. But I have until the end of the year and I'm fine. I'm fine with it. I really like this lipstick and I'm actually really excited to be working on a lip liquid lipstick um, that has some color in it. I'm working on a nude one. I'm excited. I really like this color but I don't think I will wear it to work. But now that I'm working half time, part time, I can wear it when I'm filming. <laughs> And I have more energy and time to film again, which is really exciting because I love filming. Um, so maybe I can be more consistent with my videos, even though I'm getting more and more pregnant by the weeks. The eyeliner that I rolled in last time, and it is the W7 Love Line Eyeliner and Stamp. And I do have it on as an eyeliner. I have made a wing very often this month, actually. But yes, it is just a felt tip eyeliner. And then the stamp is like a heart, but I haven't used that one, so I... But I have used this one six times this month, which I think is really nice because I'm working on like two other eyeliners. I think I will hit the 20 use mark really fast on that one. The next three items are in palettes. And the first one is my highlighter from Sleek Makeup and it is the highlighting, the pa highlighting palette in Saltish. And I am working on the peach shade right there. I really love this. If And if you know this palette just a little bit or if you have heard about it, you know it is very pigmented so you don't need a lot for each use so it won't look that different from last time. Um, but I have used it five times. I think that is pretty good if you consider that I'm panning another highlighter to hit, trying to hit pan on it at least. I think that is a good amount um, up to 20 uses in this project. The next one is my W7 Delicious palette where I chose this red shade down here. This one right here. If you can see, does it show up? I think it does. There's a slight dip in it right now, which is really exciting. I have it on my lower lash line, and that is how I have mainly been using this shade, actually. Combined with the pink looks, I have used it once or twice in my outer corner slash um, crease. I have used this shade six times since last update. And the last shade is, or shadow is from my Morphe 35K palette, and it is a bronzy shade and I have used that two times and I remember that because I just talked about it in my Mission 100% Cruelty Free Project Pen and it is the shade right there so you can see some wear last time it was brand new because I don't think I have ever used the shade so to roll it into this project and trying to pan on it or just a 20 uses mark 
Whew. <laughs> so let's see how many times I have to use that shade to hit pan on it. I have never hit pan on a shimmer shadow from Morphe, so I'm excited to see how many times it takes to hit pan on that kind of shade. I think it will be perfect for autumn, like fall. Right now it's quite summery because it's August. It is time for the new Roland and I'm excited. So let's set some rules. There are no lip products allowed to be rolled into the project and neither the eyeshadows because I have two in and I'm working on my panel palettes and I will just be overwhelmed to work on more. So lip products and eyeshadows are not going to be included but everything else is okay to be rolled in. So just roll a new number. <gasps> it is scary and exciting at the same time. Yeah. So as always I have my Pretty random up, and I'm going to say one until 282. I do think it is up to date, my spreadsheet. At least I hope so. <laughs> no, I'm just taking that back. Maybe we should cut out the lip products because that they also are in the end. So it is 190 instead of 282. I have included my uh, lip liners because I'm almost done with one of uh, the ones that I'm panning so I'm only panning one at the moment and that is a red so I thought that would that would be okay but yeah if I get a product that I'm already having in a project I'm just going to roll again so let's see what I get 24 that is a brow pencil and I'm going to choose again because I'm already working on the brow sweep and an eyebrow pencil or not. Mm. Let's be realistic here. I'm not going to use a brow pencil if I'm using this pencil or grooming crayon here because this is like a wax and I don't use a pencil and a wax together so it is going to be either one <laughs> and that sounds kind of silly. 129. 129 it is going to be because that is um, only brown shades in that palette and I use those as an eyebrow powder so that is really random to roll in or roll two kind of brow products in the same go but I'm going to say one two three um, and then I will get the a pan that corresponds with that number so kind of an eyeshadow but kind of a brow product so i think that uh, solves everything <laughs> one to two i have to count it in and we are going to get number two so let's see if it is the one with pan or no pan because i have pan on one of them so if it is one without a pan i'm trying to hit pan on that shade so let me go get the shade and i'll i'll be right back <laughs> It was without a pen. So if you know the palette, it is the W7 in the City eyeshadow palette. I will insert a picture of it here. I took out the three remaining shades that I wanted to pan completely from the palette and repressed them into single pans right here. It is uh, so much easier to use this kind of pan and put it in my C palette. So that is what I'm going to do. This is shade number two. Um, or at least from those three that I have left to pan in that palette. So I actually think it is shade number four. But yes, it is just a mid-tone brown. This is on the warmer side of the tree. So because this is a powder and this is a wax, I, we, I like to combine those two products. So this is perfect for this project basically. So my goal is to hit pan again. I think I will hit pan before the 20 years mark. So I'm just going to use it exclusively with this uh, grooming crayon. So I think it's kind of a perfect match. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, I have a playlist and my updates down below. Otherwise, we have a whole playlist for this project overall as the collab. And I will have that link down below as well as Emily and Sarah and all the other ladies that I'm doing this together with. Please check out those videos if you haven't already. I hope you will stick around if you're new here. And until my next video, please take care.